key. Finally got this thing clean. Yesterday I spent the afternoon washing this truck in nasty red the best I could. I got this new soap stuff that's supposed to, after you just apply it, you're not supposed to go through and hand dry it. All you're supposed to do is rinse it off with water as long as you're not in direct sunlight. And that's supposed to just rinse off and not spot. And it did. It actually worked. Paint finally looks like glass again. I think it was easier installing the pusher turbo system than it is figuring out this little clamp for the wiper blades. <laughs> got 15 different languages of how to put these clips on. I also tried to polish up the anthems a little bit yesterday, but I didn't get them 100% dry on the front one, so I didn't turn out perfect, but they look pretty gosh dang good. What is up, loud and proud crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic today. You trying to dab on them haters, bro? You trying to dab on them haters? So we're out here with the uh, first gen, and I do intend on starting that trick up today for the first time in a long time. How do you feel about that, Dad? It's been a long do time. It. It's been a long time. By the way, it was his 41st birthday yesterday. You feel any different? I feel better looking, wiser, stronger, wiser. smarter, faster. And I can jump higher. <laughs> I don't know about the jumping higher part. No, I got like a three inch vertical now. Three inch vertical. I tried to work on the barn, but you wouldn't believe it, but I was out here for about two hours and it doesn't look much different. Yeah, you can you see, see you I, can see some wood on the bench, but. Did you see what I got here recently? No, I don't know what that is. You want to know? Paintball barrier blow up. It's thing. about paintball season. I have this thing about paintball, so yeah. I have three more blow up barriers, which is exciting. Yeah, I was I used to be in a paintball for like a good year month and a half. Until people started to play a little unfair. When I saw the gunners on nasty flipping hot red, I thought something similar but chrome would be sweet on this thing. Claire's 35s, I mean as you can see in the turn there it's plenty of room for a 35 but I don't know with the stanced out wheel I never really tested it with the 30 or 33s to see how much room it had I don't know if with a stanced out wheel if it could still be 35s or not was going to try to get the first thing cleaned up today, get this washed and try to clean out the barn some more. I don't know if I'm gonna do any barn cleaning on video, but I definitely wanna to try to get that done because it was my dad's birthday yesterday. And so it's kind of like a gift. I was kind of clean his barn back up because uh, this has kind of been like my workspace for the past, I don't know how many months. It's been getting cluttered because there's been a lot of different trucks in here now, a lot of different parts, factory parts taken off and just set to the side. Like look at all the factory parts and boxes. I mean, we've got valve covers, we got intake horns, we got all kinds of boots, we got the factory um, valve, valve cover shields, we've got some factory uh, parts from the 7.3, the first gen, the big stink, and we got some lights, we got more air boxes, we got the factory bumper off of my OG white second gen. We've got first gen parts, intake parts, I mean we've got stuff everywhere. We've got some new stuff here, we've got fuel tank straps, we've got uh, green belts, I mean pulleys, we got all kinds of stuff. So. Um, this stuff is just, yeah, I mean this stuff I try to keep all the OEM parts and replacement parts and stuff like that in one spot. But what I'm thinking about doing is, first off getting this all cleaned up and separated out, but then taking the toolbox and since we're not doing anything else with it, maybe set that along the wall somewhere and set like all the 12 valve stuff in the toolbox and set the 7.3 stuff in a different box so it's separated out, but it's organized and hidden. You know what I'm saying? So like set all the second gen stuff on one half and set all these first gen intercool piping and you know grid heater parts and stuff like that on the other part and just kind of keep it hidden and condense some stuff and we get some busted up headlight parts, which believe it or not, like I'll randomly use some of this stuff. I mean, it might look like junk to some people, but like some people are like, oh, well I could really use that, that corner piece of the headlight because my other one's broken. You know what I mean? We've got over here a bunch of exhaust parts for the 6.7. We've got exhaust part for the nasty red from another part from the new exhaust and nasty red. Hey, cousin Zadok, his Buick Regal, part of that exhaust. And then up here is just some factory parts from Nasty Red. Some lines, the heat exchanger for the transmission fluids, the bracket to hold that heat exchanger on, grid heater, tailgate for Nasty Red. Like, there's just a bunch of Nasty Red parts there too. We got just a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna try to condense all the tires, get those all set in one spot, stacked up nice and 
neat and then get rid of the bumpers that are just rusted out anyways you don't need them you know what i mean just clean stuff up it's just nasty in here guys i bring stuff in and get stuff swapped out i just kind of set stuff to the side and it just builds up over time we're gonna try to pressure wash the first end down get all the dirt and dust i mean look at how dirty this first end is this is this is very very sad and disgusting i mean it is just it is just disgusting look at all the dirt and i don't know if you can see but there's just like layers of dust and the windshield is covered in dust. This thing really should have like a like a fitted tarp to put over it for the winter. We're gonna get this grid heater going here. Gotta make sure I have the right pull valve. Keep it nasty red, look stinky, like dually, and first gen. Okay. Hopefully she starts up all, all right, and then uh, we're gonna be able to pull her out and get her all washed up. impressed at how this truck can sit for six months without being ran and still start better than any of our other trucks that have sat for only six to ten hours. That first gen has sat for, let me check my calendar, March, February, June. It's probably been at least three full months since we started that truck last. Yeah, pretty crazy. This is the first time this truck has seen the daylight in a long time, guys. Oh my goodness. And if you're stopping in and you're newer, because we've gone up about, I don't know, 25 ish 30,000 subscribers since we pulled this truck out of the barn last this truck has 85,000 original miles on it and we don't put a ton of miles on it we just run it enough to keep it living and keep it breathing put it to work here and there but overall we i mean we don't abuse this thing at all we baby it we got 50 horse injectors in it we got a whole pusher system under the hood first stuff we ever bought from Pusher and actually that's what got us thinking to actually start working with them a little bit more because we like that product so much and uh, now we're probably going to be running Pusher in every truck we can. We've actually got Pusher under the hood of the 7.3 trying to get stuff under the hood of the Big Stinky and the Dually as well and then we've also got Pusher stuff of course under the hood of the Nasty Red which has got a lot of Pusher stuff under the hood. quick let me zoom this camera out here there's this soap that i picked up at autozone i'm gonna see if i can find it on amazon and drop you guys a link and you guys remember how spotted up and nasty it was last time and i didn't use this soap because water spotted so bad on here look at it, it's a glass right perfect just perfect top shape this stuff is called rainex spot free car wash no drying needed all, literally all you do crazy i know but it works you take this you rinse it off just like i did you get most of the dirt and grime or whatever off but then like if you just let it sit out here, now granted it's not a sunny day, which works out perfect to wash your car. Eventually with our water, it's just gonna spot up really, really bad if you let it air dry like this, right? Well, with this stuff, you just mix one ounce of it with one gallon in a bucket like that, which is probably a little bit more than a gallon, almost two. Um, basically, then you just mix it up, you soap it on there, you scrub it just like a normal car wash with a sponge. And then you just take a hose, you don't even need a pressure washer, just take a hose and rinse the bubbly soap stuff off after you go around and scrub the whole thing and then you just rinse it off and you don't dry it. It literally just water just sheets off of it and beads off like uh, literally just rolls right off the truck and it doesn't stay and stick on it just like it is right now. So uh, it makes a huge difference, really makes it a lot better and your truck cleans up much nicer. So I'll try to leave a link in the description if I can remember. <laughs> for you guys guess which part of the windshield was washed with Rain-X and which part wasn't hmm no water beads lots of water beads no water 
Awesome. In other words, the water just sheeted right off that portion of the windshield. And uh, that part, it's just sticking on there. Let's see, look down the side of this truck. I didn't dry this. The water just rolled right off this whole side of the truck. Now, if you go to look at the other side of the truck, not quite that same effect. See all the water just sitting on the truck? All the way, all the way down this truck. The windshield on this side, all water stuck all over it. Water stuck all over the windows. Water just stuck all over the bed. See that? It's hard to see in a white truck, but see all the water just sitting there. None of it rolled off. See where the part of the grill is that I hit with the rain -X and the part that I didn't? Crazy, right? I just took the a couple swipes down the side of the truck right here. Same with where I didn't get it on the hood, where I did wipe right next on the hood. It's crazy. This stuff was only like 10 bucks too, so I will definitely leave a link down there and you guys can use that stuff. Um, of course, it's probably not going to last forever. It might just last, I don't know, maybe a week and then you got to rewash your truck using that stuff to keep at least water from beating off. Of course, it's not going to keep mud off your truck. It's not going to keep dirt off your truck, but it is going to keep water from sticking to your paint and spotting up and it's just going to help it roll right off a lot easier so you don't have to go and hand dry your vehicle. You can just literally rinse off the soap and it's done. Look how she shined up, boys. The grill, the bumper, the paint, the mirrors. She polished right up. People from like a month ago, I had a video and I, and I showed them the rust again. It's like, oh, that got so much worse. No, it didn't get any worse. It's the same little spot, you know, five inches by two inches that was always there under the fender i don't know if you guys remember but with factory plastics this thing looked rust free like the body looked rust free like you never would have thought same with this side everybody's like oh that got so much worse over the winter this did not get any worse this is just as bad as it always was if you go look back at the videos from i don't know last june it's the same thing looks just like that it, identical same thing hasn't expanded really at all with the moldings on it looked you would never have seen this because the moldings you can see the shadow right here the moldings came up over all of this. See that? You never would have seen that. Okay, so that looked like it was never there. And then there was like some kind of like diamond plate crap that went over the top of this down the sides. I think, I think I remember correctly. I think that, that's what that was. So you didn't see that little rust up top. And same here, their moldings were here too. There, that paint flaw wasn't there. It was better that we took that off so we didn't continuously have dirt and water get packed up in those flares. Now I would say, let's go take the first gen for its first drive in months and months. However, we just washed the thing and if I was gonna do that, I should have done that beforehand. Not to mention it's really low on diesel. celebration for my dad this afternoon so we're gonna do that if you guys are feeling generous definitely go hit him up on Instagram comment under his most recent post just tell him happy 41st birthday the man truly is a legend probably wouldn't be doing half the stuff that I am in my life right now and have half of the you know the know-how and the drive that I do if I wouldn't have learned a lot of the key principles to life business and success and the stuff that I do if it wasn't for him and the way I was brought up from every aspect of you know growing up and just learning how to just work hard and don't expect something handed to you and if you want it you got to go get it a lot of stuff that I've learned from him over the years and so when you see this dad I just want to say a huge thank you because I wouldn't want it any other way I didn't really have a lot of time today so just kind of clean up the first gen see the nasty right a little bit we got to go and get somewhere this afternoon so anyways guys thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed that video if you did smash that thumbs up leave your comments down below subscribe if you're a new join the team join the family and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace